In this video, I'm going to take you through a Facebook Business Suite tutorial, an easy way to manage your business on Facebook and Instagram together. Welcome to Everybit Helps. I hope you find today's video useful, and if you do, then please give it a like and share. Plus, for the latest information on Facebook, please check out everybithelps.co.uk. Business Suite by Facebook has now been released, making it easier to stay connected to your customers on Facebook and Instagram by allowing you to access the tools that you need to keep up with both platforms all in one place. Meaning you no longer have to integrate third party apps to perform tasks such as sharing ads. Business Suite includes tools like posting, messaging, insights, and advertising capabilities improving the experience of managing a business across Facebook's apps. So if you have an Instagram and Facebook business page, you might be doing things such as posting and checking your analytics separately on both Facebook and Instagram. But now you can do all of this in one place, saving you time to focus on other aspects of your business. From the home screen, you instantly have access to view updates that need your attention, such as critical alerts, messages, comments, and other activity across Facebook and Instagram. You can now easily share with Facebook and Instagram communities, drafting new feed posts, and then scheduling it to be published at a time that makes sense for your core audience. And so that you can see what's resonating with your customers, Insights will show you insights on reach, engagement, and post performances across Facebook and Instagram, meaning that you can optimize your efforts for each platform. And Business Suite is available for both desktop and as a mobile app, available for iPhone and Android, meaning that you can manage your business presence wherever you are. And I'm going to take you through the desktop version now. To access Business Suite, you'll want to log into the Facebook account associated with your business. Then go across to your pages and select the relevant business page. If you don't already have a Facebook business page, I've got a full tutorial showing you how to set this up. And when I reach my business page, it's now coming up with an option to try their business suite. But to get started and get the most out of the business suite, you'll want to link up your Facebook and Instagram business accounts together. And if you haven't already done this, you'll need to go across to your business page, select settings from the left-hand side of the screen here, then scroll down to Instagram. And to add your Instagram account to your page, select Connect Account, where you'll then either be prompted to continue or enter in your Instagram account details. And once the accounts are linked, we can then continue. Now I know that a lot of users previously used Facebook Creator Studio before Business Suite was launched, but this still meant toggling between the two different accounts. And although it's not confirmed, it could well be that Facebook Business Suite will eventually replace Creator Studio. So let's try the Business Suite. And if you don't already have the link appearing on your page, you can also access this by navigating to business.facebook.com from your desktop. And once you're within the Facebook Business Suite, the first screen you'll see is the home screen. And in here, you'll see new notifications for your Facebook page and Instagram account, all in one place. You'll see an overview of any recent ads and insights from your posts here, as well as a link to all insights, which I'm gonna take you through shortly. Under the activity view, you'll see who's liked or commented on your posts. There's also any updates on your ads and other activity on your page and Instagram account. There's a unified inbox so that you can read new messages and comments from your Facebook page, Messenger, and Instagram accounts, all under all messages. Inbox in Business Suite can really help to make it easy for you to talk to people who are interested in your business when you're either online or offline. So you can view all messages, as well as information about your customers on the right-hand side of the screen. And you can filter these messages by Messenger or Instagram Direct then by comments from either Facebook or Instagram. 
You can also create automated responses from here too to help save time when responding to questions that people commonly ask, as well as manage your business's communication across Facebook and Instagram. Plus, you can let people know whether you're online to receive messages or offline by setting a status. And in this way, they can expect a delay in your response. Under post, you can create or pre-plan and schedule posts for Facebook and Instagram too, which you can do by selecting the checkboxes here. And then you can enter in all the information of your post. And if you're creating a Facebook newsfeed only post, you could also select whether or not you'd like to add a call to action to your post. And this will add a button to your post and help encourage people to message you as a result. You can also preview your posts on the right hand side of the screen, which you can preview by desktop or via mobile or via the Instagram feed. And it's also clever enough to know that you'll need to add images when trying to post to Instagram, for example. Then when you're ready to, you can post or schedule your post by adding the date and time that you want it published. From the main post screen, you'll also see all the activity and insights for the post that you've created. Next up, let's take a look at ads. Where you can create new ads, and you can boost posts and promote your page and see metrics for ads that you create. Plus, you'll still have access to Ads Manager to see more information with regards to your campaigns. With Insights, you can see metrics, trends, and visual reports that make it easier to understand which Facebook page and Instagram strategies work well and where you can make improvements. So if you manage a business with a Facebook page, an Instagram business profile, and an ad account, you can see insights for all of these together in Facebook Business Suite here. And you can view things like the performance of your Facebook page and Instagram business profile. You can see trends and reach. You can see your ad accounts cross-platform spend, organic and boosted post content engagement as well as the demographic and geographic summaries of people who like your page and follow your Instagram business profile. And all of this will help you to optimize the way that you spend your time and your resources. Then there's more tools, where you'll find more Facebook tools and settings that you might use to manage your business's presence. So from here, you can go to your ads manager, account settings, audience, billing, commercial manager, and business settings as well as your page settings. And just like Business Manager, you can still share and limit access to certain aspects of your business's accounts by assigning roles. There are six page roles that allow others to help you manage your business on Business Suite Desktop. And assigning roles can help your team stay organized and also help you keep your business accounts secure. And these can all be set up under the More Tools option, Page Settings, and page roles. And as I said, this is all available as an app on your iPhone or Android too. So if you're already using the Page Manager app on mobile, you'll automatically see the option to opt into Business Suite. If you aren't currently using Pages Manager app, you can visit the iOS or Android app stores to download the Facebook Business Suite app. And again, you can view an overview of the home screen, you can create and schedule posts for your Facebook and Instagram accounts at the same time here. You can view all those messages and comments. Plus, you have access to ads, appointments, insights, and settings all from here too. So that completes my run through of the Facebook business suite. And I hope you enjoyed this video today. And if you did, then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button, and please do head over to my website at everybithelps.co.uk for more tips, reviews and step-by-step -step guides. Thanks and I'll see you soon.